Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Views. Today we're taking a look at a really interesting watch from D1 Milano. Um, I have reviewed a few of their watches in the past, and I was always pretty content with their overall quality, finish, fit and finish, and the overall movement choices and their case designs. Now, overall, I think the quality is pretty decent uh, on most of their watches, I would say. This is a completely new case design. As you can see here, it's more of like a square case, and it kind of comes inwards here towards the lugs. Um, this is something new for D1 Milano. Most of their cases in the past were more kind of like Audemars Piguet-ish, I'd say. Um, this is a completely new design they came out with, and uh, I believe this one retails for $3.95 direct from their website. I will drop a link to their website down in the description below. They are an Italian-based brand, hence the name D1 Milano. They have a lot of different watches, um, automatic, quartz. Uh, I don't believe they have a chronograph yet, but they really have a lot of different choices of different dial colors and you know, a whole bunch of different varieties of watches. But anyway, this is their new kind of titanium model. It's called the Titanium and their new square case here. And it was kind of interesting, the box the watch actually came in. Let me just show you guys with some nice little stuff inside the box. So the watch came in this like Happy Meal style box. I guess it's some kind of collaboration. Um, as you can see here on the box, it says expensive watches are not a personality trait. And then inside the box, I got the regular D1 Milano box, but inside this box, there was some pretty cool stuff, um, like kind of fake money, a fake credit card and a fake gold bar. Let me show you guys. So inside the box, it came with this kind of D1 Milano card. I guess it's kind of like a propaganda, stuff like that, saying that basically you don't have to spend so much money to get a good quality watch. Uh, this credit card will self-destruct unless you post me on Instagram with a cute filter. Um, make watches fun again. So I guess it's kind of a collaboration to make watches kind of fun. It came with this kind of fake gold bar and then fake money as well. Not fake money, but obviously uh, prop money, I'd say. Uh, super snake. Uh, just pretty interesting, strange kind of, but I guess it works. Anyway, with all that stuff out of the way, the watch itself is actually really nice. Feels really good in hand. It's actually a solid 316L stainless steel case, but the case and the bracelet is PVD coated in titanium. Uh, it feels a bit lighter than it would, you know, if it was fully stainless steel. That's just my opinion there. It also has a really interesting titanium dial as well with blued markers and blued hands. Just looks really, really cool. And it also does have a blue crown to match those blue hands and those blue markers. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, the watch is a pretty, um, pretty modern size, I'd say, for the watch enthusiasts. It's a pretty modern size of 37 millimeters in terms of case diameter. And get this, 6.45 millimeters thick. I mean, that's just extremely thin. I have never worn a watch uh, 6.5 millimeters thick. Um, obviously, they do have, you know, the Bulgari Octo Finissimo, uh, which I believe is like, I think it's even thinner, like 5 millimeters. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, um, 37 millimeter case here, 6.5 millimeters thick, uh, which is really nice. The dial itself is actually made of titanium. Uh, solid titanium, this dial here. You get applied blue indices, you get a blue crown, and you get blued hands as well. Now, it's not heat-treated blue. Um, they are PVD-coated blue. Just keep that in mind. You have a nice circular brushed finish on this dial, as you can see here. You have uh, lines going around the inner portion of the dial. Nice little design there. Then you have your minute, minute markings as well. It's actually really legible. Um, if you really take a look at it, it's a very, very legible watch. It has a dateless uh, Japanese quartz movement. It also has a sapphire crystal as well, which I would expect at this price point. Uh, 50 meters water resistant, we get a pull and push crown, a screwed in case back. And the bracelet's actually really nice as well. It's an integrated bracelet, 110 grams complete. So it's really not that heavy of a watch, but you will feel it on the wrist. Now the movement inside of this watch is a Citizen Miyota uh, quartz movement. It's the 1L22. It's a very slim movement, hence why the watch is 6.5 millimeters thin there. Very nice. The bracelet is just as nice as any other D1 Milano watch. They do make very nice bracelets, very articulating, nice smooth uh, titanium PVD finishing, which is the first I've seen from a brand do. Um, it's quite interesting. You get a butterfly clasp here, which is signed with the D1 Milano. As you can see here, it opens up. Very nice clasp, very solid. Nice clicks as well, very audible clicks, very nice, feels very secure. It is using push pins as well, uh, just keep that in mind. Now take a look at the back of the case back, you can see D1 Milano is written there, held down by four screws, 50 meters water resistant, um, just keep that in mind, definitely not one to take underwater. 
And I believe actually on this one you can actually change the bend if you wanted it to. As you can see, I believe you can. Uh, if you take this off, yeah, you definitely can change the band if you really wanted to. Um, but it looks great on this bracelet. It matches the case. And it has a really nice kind of just uh, casual look, I'd say. Uh, casual, smart dress look to it, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty easy movement to function, obviously. Two-handed movement. Crown, one position you pull out. You set the time here. Push it back down and you're good to go. There is no second sub-dial. Um, so yeah, other than that, I think it's pretty nice. The finishing is actually really good, very smooth, nice flat sapphire crystal, crystal keeping it very legible. No sharp edges on either side of the watch. And I really like their new design. Um, you know, their old design I did like as well. I kind of really like that kind of Gerald Genta design, you know, with the kind of AP style case. But this one's actually really different. Nice contouring lines coming around here, as you can see. Very sharp lines. Good cut and good finish on this case. So uh, in the future, I'm assuming they'll make some automatic versions with this new square case, which is really cool. Uh, can't wait to see that. Anyway, um, I'm going to throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist, show you how these dimensions look, and let's jump right into that. Now on my wrist today, I am wearing the Oceanica Mako. This is a dive watch, uh, $239 on their pre-order. It was funded on Kickstarter, and I believe you can still get one on Indiegogo. I believe they end Friday, the 21st of April on Indiegogo. So that will be the last chance to get one of these for $239 and in, in exchange of, I believe they're selling retail for $319.99. Great, great quality watch. A lot of great specs for the money. I would definitely jump on this um, if you're into, a, you know, a pretty decent looking dive watch with great specifications. On my 6.5 inch wrist, the watch does look really classy. Keep in mind, there is a light shining on this thing right now. And as you can see, that dial is still extremely legible with that sapphire crystal. Um, I'm assuming there is anti-reflective coating. It's not stated on their website, but I'm pretty sure there is anti-reflective coating, clear AR coating on this crystal because it definitely remains extremely legible. I think there is. Yeah, there definitely is AR coating on this crystal. Um, but anyway, very, very slim watch. Obviously, can fit under a cuff there. Brace so it is also very comfortable. It doesn't pull hair or anything like that. If you, you experienced in the past a D1 Milano bracelet, this one is just as comfortable. Uh, definitely wraps the wrist nicely, and there's no sharp edges or anything like that, nothing digging into your wrist. Um, but yeah, very nice fit, as you can see across my 6.5 inch wrist. It fits perfectly. Anyway, guys, I just think this was a really interesting release from D1 Milano. Their watches are always very well made um, from what I found in the past. I've never had a quality control issue with any of their models. Uh, they're a pretty well-known brand. Um, I've seen them on Joma Shop as well. And also, the, obviously, they sell direct from their website. And their shipping is always pretty fast via, I believe they ship via DHL. Um, yeah, this one arrived via DHL uh, about two business days. Very quick shipping. Um, but yeah, I didn't find any quality control issues. I like this new square design. I like the blue accents with this really interesting titanium PVD. I've never seen a brand do that before. You get a titanium dial as well, which is really interesting. Nice use of materials on this model. Um, other than that, I really like the watch. I think they did a great job. It's definitely a very interesting and a very unique watch, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below, as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming at you with the D1 Milano, their new uh, square K-shape and their titanium model. I will drop a link down to them. This one retails at $3.95. Hopefully, you can find a discount code on their website, which they do sometimes. Other than that, guys, definitely throw the video a like, share it with your friends, leave me a comment, and we'll chat more down below. A lot of interesting content coming up real soon. Definitely smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.